Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I will go to the altar of God. Give joy to my soul. Our help, our help is in the name of the Lord. In heaven and earth. My dear, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, let us confess our sins unto God, and prepare ourselves that we might be found worthy to participate in this holy sacrifice. And now, let us turn unto the altar of God, and make an examination of our consciences. Having confessed our sins unto God, I will offer the act of confession. I confess to Almighty God one in the Holy Trinity, who knows the innermost secrets of my heart, that I have sinned in thought, word, and deed, by my fault, by my fault, by my own great fault. In your presence, O God, I earnestly repent of all my sins, and I am truly sorry for offending you. Most loving Father, have mercy on me and forgive my sins. I resolve to amend my life to improve and sanctify it, that I may become worthy to serve you faithfully all the days of my life. I ask the Blessed Mother Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive our sins, and bring us unto life everlasting. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon and absolution and remission of our sins. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me by him, I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, you will again renew us. Your people will rejoice in you. Show, show us your mercy, Lord. Grant us your salvation. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Let our cry come to you. The Lord, the Lord be with and you. Also with you. Let us, let us pray. Take our sins away from us, Lord, so that we might enter the Holy of Holies with purified hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Those whom the Lord has ransomed will return and enter Zion singing, crowned with everlasting joy. They will meet with joy and gladness. Sorrow and mourning will flee. All your works give you thanks, O Lord, and your faithful bless you. They speak of the glory of your reign and tell of your great works. Glory, glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ have, mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. 
In the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you have called us to faith and surrounded us with a great crowd of witnesses, your saints. Encourage us by their examples to lay aside every sin that we may one day join them in your eternal kingdom. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. On this, the solemnity of all saints, we take the first reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw another angel come up from the east, holding the seal of the living God. He cried out in a loud voice to the four angels who were given power to damage the land and the sea. Do not damage the land or the sea or the trees until we put the seal on the foreheads of the servants of our God. I heard the number of those who had been marked with the seal, 144,000 marked from every tribe of the Israelites. After this, I had a vision of a great multitude, which no one could count, from every nation, race, people, and tongue. They stood before the throne and behold the Lamb, wearing white robes and holding palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, Salvation comes from our God, who is seated on the throne, and from the Lamb. All the angels stood up around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures. They prostrated themselves before the throne, worshiped God, and exclaimed, Amen. Peace, blessing, glory, wisdom, and thanksgiving, honor, power, and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders spoke up and said to me, who are these wearing white robes, and where did they come from? I said to him, My Lord, you are the one who knows. He said to me, These are the ones who have survived the time of great distress. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. The gradual for today. Sing praise to the Lord, you faithful. Give thanks to God's holy name. Fear the Lord, you holy ones. Nothing is lacking to those who fear him. The second reading for today is taken from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed on us that we may be called the children of God, yet so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like Him, for we shall see Him as he is. Everyone who has this hope based on him makes himself pure, as he is pure. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our 
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Alleluia, Alleluia. Almighty and eternal God, who cleansed the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain. And after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. first letter of St. John, the beloved Apostle. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. To you, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is a very special day for many denominations in the Christian Church. For today, we celebrate the solemnity of all saints. All saints, those that follow Christ, those who are about the throne as Saint John had that vision in Revelation. Looking back into the history of all saints in the celebration of this day, we find that in 411 AD, the East Syrians kept on their calendar a special day to commemorate the saints. There's a sermon that's written by the early church father, St. John Christosom, who speaks about the saints and about the martyrs. In Many of the denominations, we remember the saints. 
in the Roman Catholic Church, in the Polish National Catholic Church, the Methodists, the Lutherans, the Anglicans, and many others hold this day very special. The Orthodox Church also has the celebration of all saints, but it actually takes place the first Sunday after the Feast of Pentecost. The date of November the 1st to celebrate the solemnity of all saints can be traced back to the 8th century by Pope Gregory the third. All saints have one thing in common, that they honestly sought God in their lives. They lived the gospel of Jesus Christ, who said unto his disciples as part of the Sermon of the Mount, you are the light of the world. And they became a light unto those who sought to know the Lord. It was through their lives and their examples and of living a virtuous life that they brought the Lord Jesus close to others. In our churches, we are surrounded by the saints. On our main altar, we have St. Paul. We have St. Peter, Paul the Apostle to the Gentiles, Peter the Apostle to the Jews. Those who have sought God lived by the Gospel, and they had standards of their faith. It's so appropriate that today we take a portion of the Gospel of Jesus Christ based upon sayings that were delivered at his Sermon of the Mount. They have become the standards and should be the standards by which we truly seek God. Jesus says, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of God. To be poor in spirit is to be humble before God. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. The losing of a loved one is tragic for all. Even our blessed Lord wept, not only for his dear friend Lazarus, but Jesus wept upon the city of Jerusalem as he traveled there for his own crucifixion. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the land. Again, we are told and directed that it is humility and meekness that are fruits of the Spirit. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. If one truly seeks God, one will find God in their lives and will find God in all that they see. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall be shown mercy. In the Gospel of Luke, Jesus continues to say, But woe to those who show no mercy, for none shall be given. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Again, if one truly asks and seeks, one will be answered and one will find. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. In the world in which we live, we should all seek peace among one another. Blessed are they who are persecuted for righteousness. Many, many of the saints became saints because they suffered a horrible martyr's death. We are also told that blessed are you who are persecuted for the sake of Jesus. 
It is the saints by which we are made stronger in our faith. For when we celebrate and when we read of the lives of many of the saints in the church in the liturgical year, we are taught that we should imitate their virtuous life. And so, on this Saint All Saints Day, we also are and will be celebrating on Monday All Souls. And it is in the communion of saints one of the first creeds that was written, known as the Apostles' Creed. Everyone who is baptized into the name of the Lord in the Blessed Trinity, a child being brought into the church, the godparents recite the Apostles' Creed, in which it says, I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the second time during ritual that the Apostles' Creed is recited is at the Sacrament of Confirmation where the individual becomes a witness to the Lord Jesus Christ. And so my dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate this day because it is a very special day for we all are part of the communion of saints. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Do you not know that the Holy Ones will judge the world?
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our gifts of love and sacrifice may truly be accepted by God, our Heavenly Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the benefit of his holy church. Amen. Amen. Let us pray, Almighty God, we thank you for all the graces you have given to your saints and to us. Accept the sacrifice that we offer in honor of your saints. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your whore hearts. Come up to the Lord. Let us, let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father, all powerful and ever living God. We do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. To whom day we celebrate the solemnity of all whole saints, those who throughout their life proclaimed your glory by walking worthily in the footsteps of Jesus. Following their example, May we be strengthened in our faith. May we live holier lives and practice greater charity so that one day we might be united with you in your heavenly kingdom. Therefore, we he join with the voices of the angels and archangels, with all the saints and the entire church, and we lift our hymn of praise to your glory repeating unceasingly. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son and the, in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son and the, in the highest. Most merciful Father, we most humbly pray and ask you through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to accept and to bless these gifts, these presents, these holy and spotless sacrifices, which we offer to you in the first place for your holy Catholic Church, that you would guide it in peace, defense, and unity throughout the whole world with its bishops and priests, especially Anthony, our prime bishop, and Paul, our bishop, and all who profess the true Orthodox and Catholic faith, which comes to us from the Apostles. Remember your servants, O Lord. In prayer, let us remember the sick, the suffering, and the dying, the homeless, the hungry, the unemployed. Let us remember all those who are suffering from the COVID-19 pandemic. Those who are in hospitals, as well as for those families that are affected. Let us remember in our prayers all abused and neglected children of our world. Let us remember all victims of violence, both here and abroad and pray for God's mercy. May we also remember all those who serve in our armed forces, both here and abroad, and all here present who faith and devotion are known to you, for whom we offer or who offer up to you the sacrifice of praise for themselves and all their own, for the hope of salvation and deliverance, and who freely choose to serve you, the living, eternal, and true God, we join in communion with and honor above all others the memory of Mary, the glorious Virgin Mother of our Lord and God, Jesus Christ. Also, your blessed apostles, martyrs, and confessors, together with all the countless number of saintly men and women of all nations, but especially of our nation, who lived, suffered, and died for the glory of your name and the coming of your kingdom, May the remembrance of these praiseworthy people encourage us to follow their heroic example, making us worthy of your grace and love. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 
We ask you, Lord, to graciously accept our offering and that of your whole family, and so order our days in your peace, that we may be saved from spiritual damnation and counted among the flock of your chosen people through Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh God, we ask you to bless, to accept, and to confirm this offering and to make it pleasing unto yourself so that it may be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit and become for us the most precious body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. The day before his suffering and death in order to manifest his infinite love to his disciples and through them to all who would believe in him, to fill the hearts of his followers with the fire of this love, draw them to himself, make them joyful and save them. He instituted these holy mysteries in which spiritually and bodily in his entire being he again lives among his people. At that solemn moment so grave for the whole human family, our Savior took bread into his holy and venerable hands, and having lifted his eyes to heaven, to you, his almighty Father, and giving thanks to you, he blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is given for you. In like manner, after supper, taking this excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hands, again giving thanks to you, he blessed it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Therefore, in remembrance of this Christ, your Son, our Lord, and his blessed passion, resurrection, and his glorious ascension, we, your servants and faithful people, offer to your divine majesty from your own gifts and presence a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to regard these offerings with favor and joy and accept them as you receive the gifts of your just servant Abel, the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which your high priest Melchizedek offered you, a holy sacrifice and a magnet host. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, command that this offering be brought by the hands of your holy angel to your high altar into the presence of your divine majesty, that we who receive the most sacred body and blood of your Son from this altar may be filled with every blessing and grace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and who now sleep in peace. To these souls, Lord, and all who rest in Christ, grant we pray a place of refreshment, light, and peace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And grant us your sinful servants who hope in the greatness of your mercy, some part in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, and with all your saints who shed their blood for your name. Their hearts were always open to justice and mercy, and with lives patterned after their divine master merited eternal joy. Number us in their company, Lord, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Christ our Lord, amen. By whom you always create, sanctify, revive, bless, and freely give us all these good things. Through him, with him, in him. All honor and glory are yours, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Instructed by our Savior's teaching and following divine example, we say with confidence, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, from all evils, past, present, and future. And by the intercession of the blessed and glorious Mother of God, Mary, together with your blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, is also Andrew and all the saints, grant us peace in our day, that being supported by the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin and secure from all disturbance. Through the same Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. May this commingling and consecration of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ help us who receive it to everlasting life. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me be parted from you, who lives and reigns God forever and ever. Amen. May the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not be cause for my judgment or condemnation, Though I am unworthy to receive this great sacrament, through your loving kindness may become our safeguard and our healing remedy. Our saving master awaken in all of us the living faith, fervent love, worship, adoration, and the holy longing. Through this communion make us willing, servants, zealous to fulfill your holy will. May it at last unite us entirely with you, our Lord and our God. Grant this who lives and reigns with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. I will take the bread of heaven, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen. What shall I return unto the Lord for all the graces he hath rendered unto me? I will take the chalice of salvation, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. With high praise will I call upon him, and I shall be saved from all my enemies. May the blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen.
For the Lord loves justice and does not abandon the faithful. The just will possess the land and live in it forever. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray, Lord Jesus Christ. You established the ancestors in the faith and brought them to perfection. Through this Holy Eucharist, bring us with all your saints to an everlasting glory. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Go, the sacrifice is offered. Thanks be to God. May the tribute of our worship be pleasing to you, most holy Trinity. Grant that the sacrifice which I, though unworthy, have offered in the sight of your majesty be acceptable to you. Through your mercy may be effective for myself and all those for whom I have offered it through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory be to you, Lord. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was in God's presence, and the Word was God. He was present to God in the beginning. Through Him all things came into being, and apart from Him nothing came to be. Whatever came to be in Him found life, life with the light of men. The light shines on in the darkness, a darkness that did not overcome it. There was a man named John sent by God who came as a witness to testify to the light, so that through him all might believe but only to testify to the light, for he himself was not the light. The real light which gives light to every man was coming into the world. He was in the world, and through him the world was made, yet the world did not know who he was. To his own he came, yet his own did not accept him. Any who did accept him, he empowered to become children of God. These are they who believe in his name, who were begotten not by blood, nor by cardinal desire, nor by man's willing it, but by God. The Word was made flesh and made His dwelling among us, and we have seen His glory, the glory of an only Son coming from the Father, filled with enduring love. Thanks, Thanks be to God. and sisters, I welcome you to the holy name of Jesus as we celebrate today the solemnity of all saints. I bring to mind that tomorrow, November the 2nd, we will also hold a very, very special day. It is the Feast of All Souls in which we remember all our faithful departed. And may we will remember on all souls all our loved ones and offer prayers unto Almighty God for the repose of their souls. Let us conclude this morning service with the offering of a final prayer, first for the living, for each other, and then for the repose of the souls of all our faithful departed. May God be with you, may his angels watch over you and your loved ones until we see each other again. May the name of Jesus Christ be praised by all of us, now and forevermore. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And for the, and for the repose of the souls of all our faithful departed, eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord. Perpetual light shine upon them. May they, may they all rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.